Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Before I um, we get started, I just wanted to remind you that this coming Thursday we'll be doing our first monthly online card class, Thursday at noon on Facebook Live, and then I'll post it right after to um, YouTube. We'll have an ordering special. Um, I'm very excited. We're gonna feature on Thursday the Around the Bend stamp set and dies. I know mine are all kind of, that's just how I store them. <laughs> They're all kind of messed up in there, but you get um, like several different border dies. You get flowers and leaves and, and all kinds of fun stuff. And then let me give you a quick sneak peek of the cards we'll be making. We are going to do this one, which I, this is just such a fun little polka dot uh, border. And then we're going to be using this one. Isn't that pretty? And we'll show, show you how to do this layering so it all lines up nicely. And then we're going to do this one. So I'll show you how to cut a little mat uh, to fit on top of this nice little curvy border. And then we'll also be using uh, some of the paper from Celebration, the Dainty, Dainty Flowers paper, which both of these come from. And um, when you purchase $50, you're going to get a pack of these iridescent rhinestone jewels. So I've used that on all three of these. Okay, so please join me uh, Thursday at noon on Facebook Live or uh, check shortly after on YouTube because we'll, we'll have it both places. And here's a pack. Aren't those gorgeous rhinestones? And they really kind of take on the color of whatever you put them on. So great for, for any type of project. Okay, so today we're gonna do a card using the On the Ocean bundle. It's got this great uh, sailing ship kind of, you know, themed stamp set. And then we have dies, which has uh, a couple of water dies. It has clouds, uh, little fun pirate things. And then of course this boat. This was my favorite set. <laughs> And I'm kind of a geek for all things pirate, but this is my, this was the first set that I bought out of the new mini catalog. I just, I just love it. So we're going to make a fun card that uses five different techniques. So a five in one card. So let's get started. All right. Our card base is going to be balmy blue. So it's just a five and a half by eight and a half piece of uh, cardstock. So we'll just score that and that's ready to go. And then we have a layer of soft suede and I will put measurements on my blog, but um, this should be four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white. We're going to do some things to this. And this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So first we're going to emboss this. All right. We're going to use, um, I think it's called Above the Clouds Embossing Folder. I'll post this on my blog as well, but it has uh, these fun clouds uh, on it. So this is gonna be perfect for our background. But instead of just white on white, what I want to do is brayer some blue on here. Now, I know we don't carry brayers anymore, but you can easily get one at the craft store. And for this, I want to use a hard rubber brayer. And um, because I don't want the color to get into my clouds, I'm actually, before I used this, we had um, a class the other night and we did this. this it was a, just a small group of demonstrators. So I make sure my, my embossing folder is clean. All right, let's go. We're going to just ink up our brayer with some balmy blue and then very gently, not put, there's no pressure on here, just brayering the inside of the embossing folder on the Stampin' Up! logo side. I'm gonna do this twice just to make sure we have good coverage. And then just very lightly brayering over the clouds. Okay, that's it. All right, now I'm going to, my card's going to be portrait style. So I'm just gonna lay it right here in my clouds and we're gonna cover it with the embossing folder. Isn't that cool? This is, this is one of my favorite techniques. Okay, let's grab our 
stamp and cut and emboss machine. And this is not a super thick embossing folder. I think this is just the regular, so we'll give this a try. And just get it, crank it through. Okay. Cutting pads off of here. All right. Ooh, isn't that cool? I love doing this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just a nice light blue sky, and then it still leaves our clouds white. So, um, great background for this pirate ship. All right, that's that's all we're gonna do to this piece. So let's go ahead and adhere it. We'll get this going. Adhere it to our soft suede cardstock. All right, and we can just stick this on our card front. Okay. I mean, that's a gorgeous card already, but we are going to do more. So I have already die cut um, the pieces we need just to save some time. So this is a piece of Pacific Point, and this is our, I use the, the little wave die. And we're gonna take one of the images. This is the one, it's, it's the water. It's got little waves and splashes and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna take that with Pacific Point ink. And we are going to just cover the whole thing. And what I like to do is kind of rotate it or turn it upside down so it doesn't look too consistent. And this all just kind of fits in with the um, the way the stamp is. So look, we've just got some nice texture on our waves. All right, we're going to emboss our sentiment next. So let's, um, because we've stamped this, I'm gonna use the embossing buddy and just powder that up real good so that our ink is all dry. We don't want embossing powder sticking to that blue. We just want it to stick to where we're going to stamp our, our white ink. You could use white ink or Versamark. And I'm going to stamp a little teeny tiny happy birthday, just like that. This is in the stamp set. I'm going to stamp a little happy birthday right here, just like that with white. It's just a cute, I like it. I like it, this one small. I show my, my cards to my husband. He goes, why is it so small? I think it's because he can't see very well. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Sometimes small is good. I like bigger stamps, but uh, small is good in this case. Okay, let's heat this real quick. want to check after you heat emboss and make sure that it's all shiny. If it still looks grainy, that means it's not ready. You need to keep heating until all that graininess is gone and it's nice and shiny. If it's grainy, it's going to come off when you do this. So you want to make sure you, you heat it enough, but once it's, once it's done, you don't want to over, overheat. Okay, so we are going to pop up our waves. And I'm going to do three just across the bottom. Well, I got flipped on there. All right, three across the bottom. I want to leave a gap up here because we're gonna we're gonna put something there. All right. So I'm gonna cover up the white. I want to leave the brown. The brown. Okay. Now let's work on our boat. All right, I have die cut the boat, the base of the boat. Um, this is soft suede. Then I cut the mast and the sails out of soft suede as well. And then there's a third die that you can cut out a different, um, just the sails. So we're using vanilla for the sails. And then we have this um, background here. So first thing we want to do is I'm going to cut these sails apart because I don't want those little pieces in between. 
I want to see a brown mast, not a vanilla mast. Okay. I don't know, how many of you have ever been sailing? I, when we were kids, we lived in Florida and we had um, one of the summer programs was, was sailing lessons on one of the lakes. Of course, alligator infested, as everything in Florida is. Um, but we did a little, my sister and I took sailing and canoeing one summer, which was a lot of fun. Just little, little catamaran sailboats and canoes, and you had to learn how to how to get out of the water quick, called the alligator quick step, because yes, there were alligators in the giant lake that we, we sailed in. So we tried to stay out of the water as much <laughs> as much as possible. But that was a lot of fun. Okay, I am not going to worry about sponging this one. But I'm so I'm sponging, I'm using crumb cake and a sponge dauber. I like to write the color I use, so sea cake on here. And then I'm going to sponge my boat. And I'm going to sponge, there's a little, uh, a score line right here that kind of divides the back half of the boat. So I'm gonna make this back part a little more in shadow. And then just sponge a little bit around the rest of it to give it a little bit of age. Not worrying about the bottom so much because that's gonna be under the waves. Okay, this will show, I'll do a little bit of sponging up there at the top. Okay, now we are going to adhere our sails to uh, this big, bigger piece and they fit perfectly on top. They're even slightly larger, so it's nice and easy to place them. I'm just going to use a little bit of Tombow, just a little bit, not a lot, to glue my sails on. All right, just making sure there's no brown showing. Isn't that cool? And then the, 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 all the wood beams and everything show behind it. So cool. Okay, now, now we're going to dress it up a little bit. I've got a piece of linen thread because on sailing boats, there's always lots of rope and rigging and, and whatever. So I'm going to take, let's see if this will fit on. I'm going to take a dimensional see if it'll fit right here. Well, hello. Let me hold that down. I'm going to stick that on with the dimensional and make sure that it doesn't show. I think that's okay. All right. And take this and I'm going to wrap it around the top, the little, the bottom of the mass part right there. And I'm going to bring it around and up through here at the bottom of that sail and then kind of let it loosely come around there and then instead of going all the way around to save on ribbon I'm just going to come on the same side right there and bring it around there and then do the same thing here come down that side and just bring it up and around the sail And we'll stick that on with another dimensional. And then we can put one here. So you're just kind of wrapping it around. But we don't have too much on the back so that we're not wasting, um, wasting linen thread. And then I'm just putting dimensionals to hold that all in place to pop it up. Okay. Now, let's pop this boat up too. I'm gonna put the boat on first and then we'll do the sail. Okay, I'm gonna pop this up right here. We want this sailing boat down under the waves. Let's see. I'm gonna gently put it there to make sure it's down far enough so our, our um, sails aren't sticking up past the the top of the card. 
Okay, I want it right about there. Perfect, perfect. And I want my seal behind here. That's it. I mean, isn't that the coolest thing ever? I love this card. Okay. And I love the boat and the sailing. Now, if you wanted, there's a little um, Jolly Roger skull and crossbones. You could stamp on, on one of the sails if you want. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We're just going with a, a nice sailing vessel. Um, happy birthday. So on the inside, let's stamp. Hope you're hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. I love that. I love adventures. That's a little bit crooked, but you know what? <laughs> I'll get a piece of white and I'll restamp that and put it in there. Um, but crooked's, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's do maybe a little. A little, I don't think I'm gonna do that in crumb cake. I wanna just, excuse my arm, I'm just grabbing early espresso. Just to have a nice little, we can do a ship's wheel there. Uh, we could even do, we've got birds. Oh, let's grab another block. We've got some birds, I'll do those in espresso as well. Maybe flying up here. Um, and there you go. I'm just gonna leave it. It's a little crooked, that's okay. It looks handmade now. Okay. And that is it. Isn't that cute? Okay. Well, I have a link below, or if you would like to wait until Thursday to make a purchase, we um, there will be an ordering special at our live online class. So thanks, everybody. I will post measurements and supplies on my blog. And... Um, don't forget we have adjoining specials. So for just $99 or $129, we have options. Um, you can start earning 20% off all your orders and, um, and then lots of other perks as well. So thanks so much and I'll see you back here on Thursday. All right, bye-bye everyone.